Hi, welcome to Cold Smoking Cookery School. This is a video that I actually recorded about four, four, five years ago now. I did it for a company called Four Food Smokers who are sadly no longer trading. Uh, but it's all about cold smoked salmon and I know many of you like cold smoked salmon and this is a very simple video, it's only a few minutes long, showing you how to salt a salmon and then pop it into a cardboard smoker. It's very simple. However, <laughs> there are a couple of continuity issues with this video. Really, really subtle and um, it'd be interesting to know if you can actually pick them up. If you can, I'll be really impressed if you can, do leave a comment uh, below in the video and um, and also, if you like the video, please subscribe, click on the bell so that uh, you'll get notified of any future videos. I'll post a video in a couple of weeks' time pointing out the answers. Or shall I? Hmm. Not sure yet. Jury's out there. Anyway, enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe if you like it. Hi, I'm Taran. Today we're going to be making some cold smoked salmon. It's an easy process to follow. Three stages, salting, drying and then smoking. It's a very, very easy process, takes a bit of time but you can do this at home. The first thing we need to do is salt the salmon and that's a very easy process. We'll start by putting some salt in the bottom of a non-reactive dish and that's important, we don't want the salt reacting with a metal dish. And you only need a little bit. We're then going to place our salmon directly on top of that salt. And then all we're going to do now is we're going to put some salt on the top, nice and evenly. Now we're using Molden sea salt here, but if you haven't got Molden sea salt, you can use ordinary table salt, but you just need to be a bit careful about how much you use. You don't really need too much. We're going to put quite a lot of these um, crystals on because they are crystals and they'll take time to break down into uh, brine and it's the salt as it turns into a brine is going to go into the salmon and that's going to cure it for us. We'll just pop some cling film over there really just to protect it and to stop anything falling on it in your fridge and that's ready to go. That can go straight into the fridge. We'll leave that for about 12 hours and we'll come back and see that when it's ready. Right, this is our salmon. It's been in salt for 12 hours. It's been rinsed and dried, gone into the fridge for another 24 hours. So the salmon's ready now to go into the cold smoker. Remember the temperature's not going to get anywhere near 30 degrees Celsius because that's what we're trying to achieve, a nice cold smoke. It's going to be in here for 12 to 14 hours. So we'll just open this up and you can see all that lovely cold smoke, no heat there whatsoever. Straight in onto the racks. We'll just close this up. This smoke generator should go for around about eight hours. Well that's it, that's the cardboard smoker. We'll come back and revisit this in about 12 hours when this smoked salmon should be ready to serve up. I can't wait. Okay our salmon's been smoking for 12 hours now and it's ready to take a look and see how it's got on. Wow, look at that, absolutely fantastic. And all we're going to do is just lift this out and pop it straight down onto our board here. As you cut through the salmon, you can see the changing colour going from the outside surface, which has taken all the smoke and developed a beautiful colour, right through into the centre where the oils are beginning to penetrate through. Remember, when we salted this, we've taken an awful lot of moisture out and therefore we've rebalanced the oils in there so they're a lot richer and they come out and you can see them as you cut through. Absolutely fantastic. Cold smoked salmon done in a cardboard smoker. What more could you want? Well, did you spot it? I'll be really impressed if you did and uh, don't forget if you did spot it, do leave a comment. I will respond to them all and um, good luck.